morning everyone and welcome back to today's video. Today we are doing a Spigot plugin install. Uh, we are checking out Kit PvP Plus, which is a 1.8 through 1.17 Kit PvP plugin. It supports MySQL, MongoDB, flat file, custom kits, abilities, all that good stuff. Um, so if you are looking for a Kit PvP plugin, this is possibly the one for you. It is also fully open source and has good documentation, which is amazing. I love when authors do that. It is also completely free, so make sure to go check that out. Um, anyway, let's get straight into this. Let's go over a few of the things it does. I will show you the configure files, and then we'll hop in game and actually set up an arena and get started playing a little bit of PvP. So let's take a look at the features. All your stats tracked. Um, you can have kills, deaths, all that good stuff is tracked automatically. You got locations, so you can uh, have your spawn, your arena, your custom kits, abilities. You can save data to either a local file, MySQL, or MongoDB. So if you don't want to do the databases at all, feel free to do local files. You have vault integration, so if you don't have vault um, on the server, it will use a built-in economy system. Um, but the vault integration allows you to use your own economy system if you want to use that. Uh, scoreboards are automatically built in. If you have uh, running on a 1.13 plus server, World Guard is automatically also integrated into the plugin. If you are not, you just set the boundaries yourself for any protected areas. Um, otherwise, you can just use the built in World Guard integration if you are above 1.13. Um, it does support 1.8 through 1.17 and will continue to support future versions. Um, it does support placeholder API. You can use placeholder API placeholders in the messages and stuff, or you can just use their placeholders on all of your other uh, systems. You got leaderboards, player vaults, signs. It does also have a full developer API. We'll go into that a little bit at the end of the video. Um, it's extremely customizable, 100% um, all the messages, and you have the full documentation as well. Um, in terms of all the rest of the support and everything, the wiki, there's a support server for Discord, and there's GitHub issues, and along with the documentation section on the resource page. So plenty of things you can reach out if you have any problems with this plugin. Um, let's go ahead and get a little bit over into the documentation, and then we're actually going to download and check it out in-game. So on the documentation, you got a lot of different things here. You got commands, configs, the plugin API, signs, the guides on different things, the default configure files. So we're going to go over the commands real quick. All right, so we're now we're going to go over the commands a little bit. There's 35 commands, so let's get straight into this so we can get over them pretty quick. You got slash balance to view their balance. Obviously, if you're using vault, it's going to use their vault balance. Slash join lets you join the arena once it's set. Pretty easy. Slash kit is a little bit more complicated. You got all of the arguments below and their permissions. So slash kit will open the kit GUI. Obviously, if you do slash kit edit permission and then that kit name and then add the permission, you're obviously going to need this uh, kit pvp plus dot connect kits.edit permission. So just make sure you have all the permissions you need while you're an admin, or if you want to give your staff different permissions, feel free to give them the different permissions. You also have slash kit PVP, which is giving you the ability to um, open the GUI with the ability items, reload the plugin, reload the config, reload the databases, um, and all that good stuff. You got slash lobby, slash spawn, it will just send you back to the main spawn point, slash payer, player balance lets you see other people's balances, slash pay, pay people money, slash set arena, slash set spawn, slash stats, all that good stuff is included here. Feel free to give these to the people you want. And obviously, if you're not using the vault integration, you also have the economy section, which lets you give people money, set people's balances, and reset player balances. So you can have all this built into whatever system you want to use on your end. All right, so in the sign section of the documentation, it shows you how to set up the different signs. You have the spawn sign, so all it does there is kit pvp dash spawn, and when you click it, it will take you to the spawn, pretty easy. You also have the arena sign, which is just kit pvp dash arena, will teleport you into the arena. And then you got the kit GUI sign, which is literally just kit pvp dash GUI, and it will open the GUI for the player. So you can set this up in your lobby area, if you have that set up, or if you want to put spawn signs around, you can do whatever you want in those. Pretty easy to set up, pretty easy to do. Um, now we're going to take a little bit look at the creating kits guide and then we're going to do the configure files once we actually install the plugin. Um, so you can create kits, you can do kit create the uh, kit name, so you could just do like kit create test or whatever else you want to do. You'll have whatever contents you want in your inventory, so like if you put 
all of you, you want a bow or something, you're gonna put that in your inventory. You're gonna do slash kit set contents and then that kit name. And then you're gonna set an uh, um, icon if you want. So you just set, uh, hold the item you want and go ahead and set the icon. Um, and then you can also set a permission if you want and then do kit set permission, the kit name, and then the permission you want. So you can have your custom permissions as you want. Um, in terms of the world guide integration, if you are on 1.13 plus, you can set the spawn, arena, and protected regions yourself through here rather than setting the individual flags when you're below 1.13. So feel free to do that if you want. Um, we're going to take a quick look at the API, and then we're going to hop in game. So on the API, um, you can do the um, Maven repo for the dependency, and just add that in so you don't have to deal with anything. Add it to your dependencies in your plugin.yml. And then you can go ahead and get into the API. It lets you get player data. It lets you get um, all the event listeners and everything. You have the ability activate event. You got kit load event, state change event, player data creation event, so you can modify that data in your core or whatever else you want to do. You can also create custom abilities, which is pretty cool. So if you want to add a bunch of custom abilities, feel free to add them through there. Um, and then you just enable them in your on enable or however else you want to add them. Um, and then you can go ahead and set all that up for you. Modify the locations, your configure files, leaderboards, kit managers, all that can be modified by the API. So lots of cool stuff you can do through there. All right, now we're going to hop in game. So to go ahead and download this, you're just going to click download now from Spigot. It will download the latest version and we're just going to drop this into our plugins folder. I'm not going to be using any of the integrations today. I'm just going to go straight off with the default plugin. So I'm going to drag this into our plugins folder there. Um, it didn't seem to drag into my plugins folder, so I'll do that once more. There we go. And then I'm going to go ahead and start up my server. And then if we just take a look while it starts up in my server, you can see everything's loaded up properly. And I'm going to go into the kit PVP plus folder. The two files that you're actually going to be able to modify pretty much here is going to be your config.yml and your messages.yml. You don't want to edit any of the others because those are your flat file database like holdings. Um, if you use a database, obviously they will be stored there. Inside of your configure file, you can toggle if you want the update alert, if you want an auto download of the update, which is coming soon, if you would like to how often to check for them, and then if you want to check for beta updates as well. You then have your data storage. Feel free to switch this from flat file to MySQL or Mongo and enter all your database info. If you are using MySQL, be aware, um, you do need auth enabled, so that means passwords and stuff. That is quite obvious for most plugins nowadays. It's very insecure to run a database without a password. Make sure you're using passwords. Um, do you want signs to be enabled? Do you want GUIs to be enabled? How much EXP should be given on kills and deaths? Uh, what should be the sounds for kills and deaths? For all of the filler items inside the GUI, what type of a class should it be? Do you want to make a TNT? You can make a TNT if you want. For the abilities, you have your abilities here, um, the material, the display name, the amount, what it does, all that good stuff. Should you remove empty soup from your inventory? What should be the kill command? So you can just uh, private message. If you have a custom core, you can add a server uh, command there, maybe to set their data or something like that. And you have your scoreboard, what it looks like, any disabled worlds you don't want the scoreboard to show up in, and all that good stuff is also in the configure.yml. And if we go ahead and hop over to the messages.yml, it's quite obvious what this does. It's every message in the plugin. Feel free to edit this to your liking. Placeholder API is supported in these messages, so make sure to check those out. All right, let's hop in game. All right, so now we are gonna create a kit. To do this, we're gonna do kit create, and then the name, I'm just gonna name it test. I'm then gonna do kit, and then I'm gonna rename this kit. So I'm gonna do kit edit display name and I'm going to use color codes here and I'm going to name it I am noodles just like that oh I forgot to add the kit name so it's kit edit display name and then the kit name in our case it's test and then the display name just like that very helpful uh, returns of your arguments there um, and then we're going to do kit edit test contents and that is going to be the contents in my inventory um it's actually going to be the different way around so it's going to be contents test there we go so now kit test is whatever i have in my inventory which is a diamond sword bow and arrow and then we're going to do one last thing we're going to do kit edit icon test and that icon will now be a diamond sword so if i do slash kit i have my i am noodles kit click it i have my i am noodles kit 
All right, so our other commands, you obviously have slash pay, you have slash stats. So I have currently one death because I actually died when I loaded in the server because uh, my world I had set up incorrectly. I got my kills, my EXP, my level, my kill streak, and my KDR there. And then you also have eco, which obviously lets you give money, set money, and reset money. So, right, so now we are ready to actually set up our spawn and our arena. I'm going to go ahead and set my spawn. I think the top of this tree is a perfect spawn for me. So I'm just going to do the easy command of slack set spawn. My spawn has been set. Now I have to set an arena and I'm thinking I want my arena down off the tree. So now that I have um, gotten off the tree and I am in my arena, I'm going to do slack set arena that easy i'm now in an arena so if i do slack join i'm gonna have been teleported to the arena now i can fight and pvp as much as i want and if i do slack spawn i'm going to be sent back up to spawn now obviously if i had world guard enabled i would protect my spawn region with those flags but i don't so i'm just gonna be hanging up here on the spawn tree um obviously you have slash kits this will allow you to see the kits you can have multiple pages it automatically fills up click it to load the kit it's that easy to do um and now we're going to go ahead and create some signs so i'm going to grab some signs and we're going to go ahead and check out the signs i'm just going to do the kit pvp dash gui sign just like that and then if i go ahead and click this it's going to open that kit gui i'm then going to do the kit pvp dash arena sign just like that and then i can click it and i will join the arena down here yay and then i'm just going to create a kit pvp dash spawn sign down here and i click it to go back up to spawn very very easy there very cool i'm going to try to load an alt onto the server to show you some of the stat stuff and we will wrap up all right the final command i'm going to run before we go ahead and pvp which i forgot to run earlier is kit edit and then I'm going to go ahead and say price, the kit name, and set the price. The price will be zero for kit test. And then over on my alt account here, I'm going to run kit purchase test. And I already own it because it is zero. So you can see it in here. If it was more than zero, they would do kit purchase, the name of the kit. And they would go ahead and pay whatever that is. But since I own it, I'm going to click it. I'll click to teleport to the arena down here. I'll do the same on this account. And then I can go ahead and PVP and do all the good stuff. There we go. So I've received 25 EXP. It ran those two server commands with slash tell, but because we are in a vanilla kind of server, it's not going to know those commands. So it's just going to be like, hey, you know, that didn't we couldn't run those commands um and then you have the kill message and then you have the default kill messages so feel free to turn off the default kill messages if you want because the plugin does include those types of kill messages all that good stuff is included here which is pretty cool and then if i just go ahead and do slack stats it's going to say i now have one kill my kdr is 1.0 kill streak of one exp 25 so pretty cool pretty easy to set up hopefully you have some fun with this and if you have any questions feel free to leave them on the author's um, support servers because I know they will be happy to help. Anyway, if you want to download this, link is located in the top of the description, and I will see you again in the next video in about two days. Enjoy the shorts tomorrow. I am waiting for a GoXLR to come, so hopefully my background will not be so noisy after that. Anyway, thank you so much for watching today's video. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye, everyone.